Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week as always. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at a really nice coin issued by the Royal Mint way back in 1994. There's a couple of clues already for you, but I can't wait to show you this coin. It's one of my favourite designs ever, and it's the first time I've ever had this in a bunk pack. So um, this is the first time I'm going to be looking at it, and I can't wait to show you as well. So without further ado, let's grab the coin and let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so here it is. We have the 50th anniversary of the DD landings. This is the 50 pence commemorative coin. And there's the back. So we've got our good old Winston Churchill. Almost from the fall of France in 1940, British, British plans began for its liberation for, despite debates over strategy. It was always clear to Churchill and his military staffs that only the liberation of France could secure victory for the Allies. So again, we've got the old school Royal Mint logo and of course the Royal British Legion. Good old Winston on the back just there. So of course, shall we have a look at the coin? Let's, this is the first time I've opened this, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So I'm going to figure this one out. Okay, here we go. I've got a little, uh, little bit of uh, package, packaging just there. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that. Such a stunning design, easily one of my favourite designs. Possibly second to the Isaac Newton. It's just so gorgeous, the old style 50p. Let's have a look here. So, um, the Normandy campaign plans to liberate Europe from Nazi domination began in earnest in the spring of 1943. And of course, if you do want to pause this at any time to have a I read through any of this please feel free to do so by the spring of 1944 more than three million troops had assembled in southern england in readiness for the allied invasion of europe and the landings on utah omaha gold juno and sword the five normandy beaches covering a 50 mile front between le havre and cherbourg okay, yeah there's the reverse of the coin again it is just stunning just, Look at the illustrations on this. And then you've got all the boats invading the beaches. Just fantastic. And if you've ever seen Saving Private Ryan, you'll know exactly what these soldiers and troops went through. It's just it's just crazy. I'm just awestruck by this. I just love it. Lovely, lovely design. And unfortunately, you can't see the back of the coin, or can you? You can't. It's just, I think it's meant to be stuck. Yeah. It's come a bit loose, but I'm assuming that's meant to be sealed shut. Yeah. I'm not going to tear that anymore. I better look into fixing that soon. But never mind. And again, we've got um, Winston Churchill on the back just there, which we've just looked at. A map of the invasion. By the, the different countries and then in the early hours of that historic day the great armada made its rendezvous at piccadilly circus before sweeping down the channel to the normandy beaches where the courage of the allied troops would be fully put to the test wow this is really cool and the coin is just stunning it's a shame we can't see the other side but i don't want to rip i don't want to rip this i'm pretty sure it doesn't come open which is a shame, but never mind. But let's just all gaze at that gorgeous design. And I've got several versions of this in obviously um, circulated condition. And I've also got a silver proof version of this as well, which is an absolute stunner. I do love the silver proof in this. And uh, I did actually do a review on the silver proof um, just up there. So if you do want to check that link out, that'll take you to my silver proof review of this coin. And it is gorgeous. That's uh, one to certainly have a watch. Yeah, really nice, I'm really awestruck by that. So, oh, got a little bit more bit of information in there. So again, if you do want to have a read of any of this, please feel free to do so. And I'm guessing this is the Norbidi invasion, a bit of a timeline of how things went. The successful assault on the five London areas, the fierce battles for Normandy that followed the Allied breakout into France, led to uh, the victorious liberation of Paris on the 25th of August. By September, most of France was free. Wow. And again, it's just got some statistics on the other side. 
Oh, that's just fantastic. <laughs> what a cool old bunk pack. I've got to be so careful with this. I'm struggling to figure out how it opens again. Yeah, that's stunning. Really, really cool. Let's put you back in there. I'm ready for putting away in a minute. Yeah, so there you have it. Let me know if you have got this bunk pack. Um, I'm pretty sure quite a few collectors out there will have the coin. But will they have it in this? Um, I'm not quite sure how rare these are. Or if they are, you know, collectible as uh, most seem. But I, I do love this. I have to have it. And um, I think I got this on one of the Discord groups, which was absolutely fantastic. And it was an absolute bargain. And it's a price I didn't mind paying for this for this gorgeous pack. It really is nice. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below if you have got this and what you think of the coin as well. So there you have it. Um, as always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you want to um, subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely fantastic as well. And if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. All that's left me to say really is, um, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas. It's not far away now. And uh, yeah, just have a good one. Have a fantastic new year. And there'll be a couple more coming videos coming before we see 2020 out. But that's it for another review of a fantastic um, little coin. I'm just a little bit, yeah, a little bit awestruck by that. I've really been looking forward to getting this. The simple things in life, but it's easily one of my favourite coins. And I've just absolutely loved opening this for the first time. A massive surprise to me. And I can't wait to get this up on my shelves either. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. So, again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Bye for now. Okay, so just as I was putting the coin away, I did realise this back bit does open so we can see the obverse of the coin. So I'm going to try and chop this in the video somewhere. I'm recording this after I've finished recording the other bit, so... There we go, it just goes to show how gentle I wanted to be with this coin. But on the right hand side, we've just, just got a bit more information there about the D-Day D -Day landings. And we've got some gorgeous pictures of the actual war. And then of course we've got the obverse, 1994. And a lovely little shine to that coin. And the obverse bears the acclaimed portrait of Her Majesty the Queen by Raphael Macluff. <laughs> And we've got some coin specifications down there. So the weight, 13.5 grams. Obviously they weighed a little bit weighed a little bit more than the new ones. But again, a gorgeous coin. I can't believe I didn't see I, th I thought this was glued together. It must have been stuck with something. Something must have, might have stuck to it. Because it's been closed for that long. But yeah, there we go. It does open and I'm really glad I've managed to uh, show you the uh, obverse of this coin. So there we have it. Let's uh, try and chop this in the video somewhere <laughs>